how much of your process do you make public on your site? I'm working on doing that for my own web dev business, but not seeing many other devs who do this. It's something I got from High Ticket Sales Funnel about setting up your own unique proprietary process to set yourself apart, even if it's not that different from others. How much of my processes do I make public on my own site? I do not make my processes public on my site. I, it is proprietary, but that's not to say there's places that you can't get some, like there's the uh, Facebook users group, the D digital agency Facebook users group. Um, some people are sharing some of their processes. I know agency Mavericks have it. Uh, the old WP Elevation videos have it, but um, I really believe that you need to kind of start your own process because what what you do is unique and you're right, it is somewhat proprietary, but there is a, a way of building out a website that is consistent across whatever agency is building a website. But you might have a communication process that is different. So start with the high level stuff that you know everybody does. But as you drill down, that's what makes it proprietary. In terms of processes making it public, probably the only thing I would say, um, there are some people that have a page of this is how we work. It's super high level. Um, but I don't feel like it portrays a uniqueness. I think everybody starts with a discovery call and wireframing and, you know, what makes you unique is in my, in my way, my, how I feel is your communication and how you deliver the, the product is a reflection of your values and what you consider a really great product and something that the clients are absolutely going to love. So, um, I don't. I don't really put any of my processes public and you'll be hard uh, to find that without like going to a specific mentoring like agency Mavericks that has some of these systems and processes built for you. But sorry, um, I'm going to expand on this a little bit more again because even though somebody might hand you a process that's already done, it's going to drive you crazy because it'll be very difficult for you to fit your business into that process. So no matter what process you get, you still have to make it your own. You're still going to have to spend the time of rearranging, changing some wording. You might add two or three different processes in there. So don't always feel like there is a, a cookie cutter process out there that you can just take it, make it your own. There's, there's a lot of companies out there that are selling processes and I think they're great for starting out. It's a great starting point, but it, it's very hard um, to kind of make it your own without getting in there and rearranging it. So, all right.